In today's YouTube tip breakdown, I'm going to be showing you a unique little route out of the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook that can really, really help you if you're looking to run some kind of under center offense in Madden NFL 21. Now, this route will help you torch the meta man to man coverage in the event that they might run double purples with a deep blue over the middle or some of the things that a lot of defenses like to do to under center formations in Madden NFL 21. Now, if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my name's Cody, and every single day what I do is I give you different tips like this on our YouTube channel right here at Madden 21 Tips and Tricks. We post four tips and tricks videos every single day trying to just kind of consistently help you get better and learn the game, trying to teach you some of the concepts um, from both all the way from pro level players to all the way to basic things that can really help you propel your game forward and help you win more games. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, I would highly encourage you to click the subscribe button. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is use this single back wing stack in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. And this is one of the best under center formations in the entire game because of the quick snap, the quick passing ability that this has. It has some really unique routes from it. And the play that we're going to be going over, it's actually going to be two plays. First play is going to be curl post drag. And the second play that we're going to be going over is the play double corner. Okay, so we're going to start with curl post drag. And what we're going to do on the defensive side of the ball is we're just going to come out in some max coverage defense. So we're going to put our purple zones out there, and then we're going to drop this middle linebacker into a deep blue zone. This is kind of a standard meta two-man under type of coverage. And all you're going to do on this play, this is curl, po curl post drag, I apologize. And all you're going to do is you're going to take Chris Godwin's route and you're just going to motion him over to the right side of the screen. Now, with the rest of the routes on the field, you can kind of do whatever you want. It's not, you know, you don't have to do anything super special. I actually like to just sometimes just block the tight end, to be honest with you. What you're going to notice here is when Godwin jumps to the sideline, he's actually going to be able to get over the coverage. Um, another thing that you can do with this, and you can actually, um, sometimes it works a little bit better if you just run him as a standard post. So just motion him out, let him come back to the inside, and you see he's going to get underneath the man-to-man -man coverage that way. So you can run that. The next route combination is the double corner. As you see here, it gives you this underneath route to Godwin, and it gives you this little nice deep corner route to Mike Evans. With this, you can do a very similar concept. So I could motion Godwin to the left, and what you'll notice is if it's pre if it's like two men under, you could just take that route to Godwin. Another thing that you could do with this is you could also, let's say that they're doing um, kind of the meta coverage again. So they're running the purple zones on the outsides. What you'll notice about Mike Evans' route is if it does not get pressed, meaning if they're running, running that shade coverage over top, what you're going to notice is Mike Evans is going to get completely over the man-to-man -man coverage, and it's going to be a one-play touchdown against that. So you're going to be able to beat the meta coverage over the top for a one-play score. Now, the next thing that you can do off of this is, and what's really nice about this little package here, is you could actually motion Mike Evans across. Right, So you could do the same motion that you were doing from the uh, first play where you, you maybe put him on a slant or something like that. And what you'll notice here is he's, he's going to roast man coverage again. That route, when it gets motioned, is going to be very good against the man-to-man -man coverage. That time, for whatever reason, um, our pass protection didn't hold up. So like in curl post drag, what you could do is you could motion Mike Evans right here, create a simple high-low read. And, um, and, and and kind of imitate some things and then basically get them on that left side post. Well, now what you can do is you could go to double corner and you can motion him over and you're going to notice that his route is going to do a good job at torching man-to-man -man over the middle of the field. Let's say that they don't have, maybe, maybe they start going back to standard two-man under and they take the deep middle third out of the field. Now you can go to something like this. So a lot that you can do with this, this curl, um, this route right here to uh, Godwin out of curl post drag um, will sometimes get over the top of minimum coverage. I just want to show you it one more time, which you'll see right there. Um, and if you have a fast receiver, like let's say you have like a Tyreek Hill or you have like a Chad Johnson or something like that, that meets all those route running thresholds and speed thresholds and mutt, you're going to find that that route's actually more effective than you think. Um, especially for, you know, again, people that are running something like some type of cover one or some type of meta man to man coverage where they're in this formation, they're not really caring, honestly, about what you're going to be doing on this right side of the field. If you notice, Godwin's going to do kind of a little shake and a little cross route 
um, right here, as you see, able to get outside against that man-to-man -man coverage. So you have two plays now that can really beat man-to-man, -man, both from under center, which is really nice because you can also run this double corner play. And I could motion Godwin over here and essentially have him on this little circle route. And you'll notice that it does a good job at beating man-to-man -man coverage and getting underneath a lot of different zones in the game as well. So you have those couple things combined with one of the best under center running formations in the game, at least right now, especially with how good the power O from this formation really, really is. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching today's video. Now, if you want to see more in-depth tips like this, I have an entire offensive and defensive ebook on sale right now in the description that has over 125 pages of material. It shows you how to get one play touchdowns against every defense that you will face in Madden 21. It also comes with a full defensive breakdown that shows you how to stop the run, how to get pressure on your opponent, and how to mix up your zone coverages to keep them off balance with some of the best coverage schemes in the Madden community right now. So if you're interested in picking up that full guide, again, over 125 pages, and most people that have picked it up, um, from what I've heard back, has been f some amazing reviews talking about how this has really helped transfer them and transform their game. All you got to do is pick it up. The link is in the description of this video. Also, guys, if you haven't already joined our text message membership, that's completely free to do as well. All you got to do is shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644, and every single week we are releasing high-level Madden tips, money schemes, and money plays to our text message members. And our last scheme that we released was over an hour breakdown on the shotgun bunch from the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. Thank you guys so much for your time. Just a reminder, our next video will go live at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time tonight. And we will also be live streaming Madden 21 gameplay at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, probably playing some weekend league and breaking down um, the Blitz promo. So thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you on stream tonight.